controlling this. Hi, I'm Beth Brown, Regional Weed Coordinator for the Northern Tablelands Local Land Services. Today we're at Glen Elgin, east of Glen Innes, at a field day to talk about invasive grass weeds. This is part of the Gondwana Shield project, which aims to protect some of our Gondwana Shield World Heritage areas in the local national parks from invasive weeds. So part of today, we're going to look at identifying invasive grasses and how we can control them and what we can do to utilise them and not spread them further and keep them from impacting our national parks. So today we'll look at that with our landholders and also promote a project that we've got where landholders can apply for some funding to participate in the project. While we're having a great season, it's also a great season for weeds. So we're hoping to get a lot of people involved and get on top of all these weeds because they are currently growing rapidly and spreading rapidly. Uh, the average is just over 3,000. Ideally you want it down to less than 10,000. Well, look, it was really, really interesting to get some insight into some of the new technologies that are coming on, the, the um, essential oils and that sort of thing. We do have some extra arrows in our quiver per se. Uh, that was excellent to hear. And yeah, it gives you a bit of an eye-opener as to the dangers of some of these species that are invading the area. These sorts of events are always important because the LLS are very, very good. If you've got a problem, they're always more than happy to help. So it's good that they come and actually join in with our communities rather than just us going to them when we have a problem. And I see the fellas have gone straight up now and they're into the needle grass, so while it's all fresh in their mind, so that's positive and it's happening. Look, you've got two up there on sprays now. Certainly the uh, invasive weeds that we've been talking about have a potential to really impact upon productivity. The drought seasons recently, there's been a number brought into the, uh, into the region and we're very, very keen to make sure that people can identify those as quickly as possible so that we can get on to, to controlling those. Clearly there's an economic impact from invasive weeds. We want to do our best to make sure that we can avoid that. It's been really informative, a great day. Just great to be part of and, you know, people um, given their time to, to show us the, um, you know, just to be aware of what's the, what, what the issues are. Community events like this are so important. It's been really informative, so yes, we're very appreciative.